All right. Once again, thank you so much for joining us Regent here Bowl. tonight at the Amoranto Arena inside the Amoranto Sports Complex, where we actually had our first mock-up game, and it's I think that we have our last game of the season dito sa ating venue na to, as Davao gets the first taste of favor of the Kings of the South. Valiosis goes down underneath, and that is a score for the Red Cubs. And that is where here in this possession. Emergency pass. Shot from the outside. That's down and through. Bailout basket para dito sa Mandaluyong. That shot clock was one of the players. Well, that's true. Uh, really puts in a lot of value in your team. Kapag yung point guard mo is an able rebounder. Dahil nga, in, in this game, napaka important if you're getting multiple touch. Yeah, for every coach Mark Herrera coach squad throughout his career, bihira ka makakita ng team na hindi pressure for the whole 40 minutes. Oo, oh, totoo yan. There's spots, but we know Coach Mark, alam naman natin ito, talagang uh, he will find a way to adjust. And ayun nga, pangalawang three-pointer na, ano ay pupukol din nila dito sa ating ballgame. That brings them to within two, ten to eight right now. Ito pa yan si Coach Mark. Totoo, no? For as long as we can remember. Davao on the other side, that's a score para dito kay Winters. And that's where they're dangerous itong Davao, yung primary offense because they're very good in locating yung mga rim runs and bigs. Shot from the outside, that's a three by Golioso. Golioso, really not a... Whenever I talk basketball with, you know, not just my friends, but basketball fans in general, nowadays, ang sarap maging player because, you know, even kids at this age get the... Mandaluyong is the match-ups. Eh. Nakikita natin itong uh, Red Cubs early in the game mixing up yung kanilang five on the floor creating mga mismatches and just like that a big guy attacking a smaller defender successful at that time in the showing force in that shaded area tingnan natin kung makakounter ngayon ng Mandaluyo okay, we're up by 5 but they push the lead up to 7 points this is now a 3 possession ball game and for young players who are longing for this exposure and reach as talking about exposure and reach Mandaluyo they definitely need that right now time before we put the little out of his moniker. Oh. 20 to 17. Taller team here, so it, it should really follow that they're winning that uh, department. Kaya naman, they're putting a premium for this game. Meanwhile, basket right there on the other side. Anyo Nuevo. And he ties the game at 20 apiece. Right there, but they get another chance. Left-handed scoop and the kiss off the glass para dito sa Davao. And you will see the frustration and the fate gonna help their cost in this game. Bayani trying to uh, improvise and he gets it to well, who else? Anya Nuevo gets it on once again. In he recovers the little beast, kicks it out. Here's Hinogin for three. And he knocks it down from the outside. And that's all you could hope for. Para dito sa Mandaluyong, magsabay-sabay. Ang magandang laro nitong si Hinogin, itong si Labayani. But as always, Red Cubs quick to respond on the other end. The Red Cubs in transition. San Juan will take it and leave it. Para dito kay Nicolas Lorenzo. Complex for Game 3 of your under-18 national finals between the Davao Red Cubs and the Mandaluyong Junior Microsmith where the red shirts have been able to recover. Good transition defense for the Red Cubs. Mandaluyong. Oh, what a pretty shot right there. Not an, not an easy uh, shot to make in front of Nicolas Lorenzo. Especially at this level, bihira yung mga ganyan, coach. If you have, if you're able to have that kind of shot, you're really a special player. As talking about, Palad fumbles it. Shot clock at six. Golioso will take it and make it. That is great defense on the part of Red Cup. Saluyong in this game, and they get the steal. Onto the other side, Lorenzo fails to catch. Etong si Hinogin, who scores on the break from everybody who participated and made this possible. That's a score on the other side for the Red Cubs. That's Valioses 
as they recover. Lorenzo, does it wait for troops? That shot a little too long. Another offensive rebound and the second chance opportunity for Davao. And it's because of guys like Lawrence Batong Bakal. Uh, the first 20 minutes of action here between the Davao Red Cubs and the Mandaluyong Junior Micros. Between these two teams, no squad has actually been able to put out a dominant showing for a consistent rate of possession. Uh, Doliente opens up the score performance in the second quarter off the bench. He earns a starting nod here in the third quarter. That's a three-pointer. Ano yung nuevo? His uh, he works best off yung mga pasa. Putin na natin ngayon dito. Who will step up for Mandaluyong? Left corner pocket three. That's down and through para dito sa Red Cubs. Also was able to drain one spectacular three pointer in the first half. Here's Ano nuevo continuing his stellar play. This time, number fakes out the three. The spin, defender right there with him. Shot clock winding down and. Look who bails them out. Another three-pointer. Then here he gets the steal. Leaves it for Monterroso. Forces it through. And the lefty shot off the back is good. And because you don't have an assigned guy. And maganda rin yung discipline na pinapakita nila dito. Ngayon because the nearest guy to them, they're able to box out. It's Bayani scores of that turnaround jump shot. Yeah. Especially if you're a player like Russell Bayani who relies on his athleticism a lot. Meanwhile, Palad able to get the steal and finishes on the other side. And that will prompt a timeout. This is already a 10-point lead for Mandaluyong. They have come. I think it's been a problem for Davo in the series to knock down those threes. Palad jumps a pass. Monterroso adjusts, scores, and finishes. What a beautiful move. Mula dito kay Monterroso. One drip. Davao mula sa labas, at least for today's game. Dipsy do no good. Offensive rebound. What about the junior Microsmith giving Davao a dose of their own medicine here in the third? That they really need that second chance points. It's really becoming electric here inside the Amoranto Arena. But Wagan deciding to have his fans. 46. Game clock winding down. Five seconds remaining. Cantorno pops for a three. That is nothing but bottom. Para kay Cantorno. What a shot. Mula dito kay Cantorno. I did not know where did that come from. Uh, Carlos Cantorna enforcing Davao out of their comfort zone. What third quarter. Pinakita ng Mandaluyong dito. No? 21 to 9. And they continue to show out. It's really took care of the scoring load and also playing incredible defense. That guy as well. Ito si Monterroso providing clutch basket who has been silenced here in the second half by this Mandaluyong defense. Vailoses has a chance to redeem his team and he does so right there knocking down a three-point shot. Lorenzo gets it. Wagan. Onto the outside, three-pointer in transition. That's good. That's Cañete hitting it from the outside. Enough from his team every time he goes up for that shot. A look at Golioso. Step back, three-point shot, magnificent play, and he makes sure his bench celebrates after that shot. His players, especially, we've been talking about it. Coach playing zone. It's really tough to finish plays with defensive rebounds when you're playing zone. And when you're playing zone, these are the types of shots that you have to hit. If you're Davao. And, and it's a good thing that itong si uh, Vailoses was able to hit two already here in the second half. But you mentioned nga, no, yung uh, preparation na ginawa ni Coach Mark. Look at that. Sky high. Out of nowhere. And another player is down on the floor. Wagan attacks from the right corner and he gets the basket. And one opportunity. A screen set by Anunuevo. Hinogin. As we enter our final two minutes here in game three of our 18 under Nashworth. Look who has the ball, Monterroso. Golioso back to Monterroso and Monterroso will score. What a play. Mula dito sa Mandaluyong. It's just their effort, their intensity that has created this huge lead. Miraculous proportions happens here. It's going to be hard for Davao. Well, that's a basket they need. They don't even need to score here. 
But Bayani looking at the basket. Oh, what a move right there. Russell Bayani coming back into the game after go violation. And in nine seconds, it will be official. And that's two for two para kay Lawrence Batumbakal. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It is now official. We can now call the Mandaluyong Junior Microsmith the champions of our 18-under division. The first ever titlists here in our inaugural Junior MPBL season. Well, it was a great run for the team of coach Mark Herrera. They lost players along the way. They need to make the necessary adjustments to still become a formidable team. And they were able to overcome adversity, definitely well deserving of this first ever championship. It looked like at the start that Davao was going to be the hungrier and more deserving team. But then Mandaluyong, come that third quarter, they just went out fiery. And you could see it in their eyes, their body language. Hindi mo talaga madi deny that they were the team that wanted it more. That's 